I teamed up with Brooks and one of the top PTs to bring you a warm up routine to help with your biomechanics to help you running pain free. Let's get started. All right, so we're going to start by warming up the ankles. First, we're going to start with inversion eversion. So with just your right foot, we're going to roll the ankle in and out. And then change sides. So we want all the joints to be able to move in their full range of motion. And by going through this dynamic warm up, it's going to help us to run pain free as we allow the joints to go through their full range of motion before we get into the run. The next we're going to rock on the ankles forward and back. So if balance is difficult here, you can do this with your fingertips against the wall, or your hand against the wall. So not only are we getting some dorsine plantar flexion here for the ankle, but also we're helping to strengthen our calf muscles and our anterior tibialis. These muscles will help the ankles to stay healthy as well as the knees. Next, we're going to get some hip flexion. So bring your knee up towards your chest and then rotate your thigh and bring your foot up, catching the outside of the foot if possible. And then change sides. And let's go forward and back doing this. You can even add a little reverse movement and forward movement like you're walking. Now bring your knuckles to your temples with your thumbs pointed down, open up across your chest. As you exhale, bring your left knee up and twist, right elbow comes towards the knee. Change sides. So now we're establishing hip flexion with rotation. We're going to need good rotation for the gait when we're running. Also helping to open up the shoulders and the chest, which no one wants a tight shoulders or chest, right? At the stand. Now we're going to do leg swings. You can use a wall for support. Bring your weight over into your left leg and just like a pendulum, let your right leg swing back and forth. Go for the range of motion that feels comfortable from you and try to isolate the movement of your thigh bone in your hip socket. So it's not about how far you can go and borrowing from the lower back, but instead keeping a core connection by focusing on the rib cage, aiming straight down to the pelvis as you swing your leg. And then change sides, forward and back, pendulum. Aiming for about 10 on each side. And then we're going to do side to side. So facing the wall with both hands at the wall, swing your right leg side to side. And change sides. Then with your hands at the wall, we're going to step back into a stretch position for the ankle. And then we'll try lifting the heels up and down. And if you can rock up and back with both feet at the same time. Otherwise you can just focus on stretching one heel down at a time. If it's too rough on the ankle, stick with one heel at a time. All right, then we'll do a little bit of arm circles to further warm up the shoulders. So turn your palms up, curl your fingers in with your thumbs pointed back. Keep your rib cage aimed down instead of puffing out to stretch your arms. We'll just do 10 of these.
and then change the rotation. So with the thumbs pointed down, internally rotate. All right, then our final warm up here, take your feet outer hips distance apart. Either grab your shins or your big toes, slowly lower your buttocks towards the ground, lift your heart up, and then lift your hips up into the air, let your head drop. Slowly control your hips down, lift your heart up, and lift your hips up. Three more. On your inhalation, slowly lower. And on your exhalation, lift up. Then hang in your forward fold for a moment with your legs as straight as you can. Roll yourself up to stand. Stand up tall, open up your heart. Roll your chin in and down, roll back down. One more time, roll yourself up. And roll down. Roll yourself up and you're ready to run. So this class should be practiced before your run, but I'm gonna put a link below to a full body yoga class that you can practice after your run.